jellyfish blooms seem to be taking over the headlines from dangerous blooms on beaches to rising numbers clogging intake valves and taking over fishing nets. But are jellyfish taking over the oceans? Well, for years, scientists have noticed an increase in the frequency of these jellyfish blooms in oceans all around the world. And with obvious ties to warming oceans and overfishing, the trend looks likely to continue. Warmer waters rev up the metabolism of jellyfish, so they grow faster, they eat more, and then in turn they reproduce more and faster and live longer. But new researchers adding another layer to the jellyfish rise, the solar cycle. This new researcher is connecting jellyfish numbers to the 22-year cycle of solar sunspot activity. I spoke to Eugenie Jacobson, an oceanography student at UBC, about this connection. So the more heat that you have reaching the planet, the more solar activity that you have um, drives these wind patterns. And so the stronger the winds, the more that you see these upwelling currents. So upwelling, um, there's certain places around the world, like there's Peru, where you have um, upwelling currents, where you have really high productivity. You often see lots of hair and things like that there um, and essentially as the wind flows over the ocean it sort of drives up this upwelling of nutrients and that really creates um, that really creates areas where you have high productivity high nutrients and the jellyfish can thrive she went on to say that the sun cycle process is an added layer rather than the sole cause and that warming oceans and overfishing of jellyfish predators are still very much part of the bigger picture. The physical properties of the ocean do change when the temperature increases so that oxygen can't be withheld within the water. Um, so that's one way in which that you can see sort of paves the way for jellyfish to kind of take over um, because they do so well in low oxygenated water, whereas other things like fish and crustaceans and all those guys, they can't um, drive as well. So this doesn't necessarily mean we will see a massive drop in population in the next decade, and more researchers definitely needed to make that connection between jellyfish population and solar cycles. But with jellyfish such a major part of our ocean ecosystem, we need all the data you can get. And now, you're Science Smart. If you've got a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.